You hear that? Do you hear that? That's an MP3. Well, actually, it's a flag file playing right now of one of my favorite bands, Angels and Angels Airwaves. Um, but yes, that's what you right, what you hear right now is actually a digital audio file playing through my computer speakers. I mean, I'm gonna stop it right now. But what that was that's a digital audio file playing through my computer speakers. Now, what's really cool about this is you today today where you have the iTunes Music Store, you have you know all these different online music stores. I think Amazon just opened one now. You can download these digital files, these digital music files called MP3s or um, AACs or you know the main one right now is MP3. But most um, places like iTunes, the iTunes Music Store don't sell it as an MP3. However, because they encode the DRM which is, stands for Digital Rights Management, which is a copyright protection thing brought in by the whole, you know, IRA, but I'm not going to get into that. The main point, you know, I want to talk about right t today is actually the fact that, you know, you can take CDs such as, let's see what I have over here, uh, let me grab a CD, one second, so you can take CDs such as this one and put them onto your computer. Now, what's so cool about this is, once you do that, you take the CD, you stick it in your um, your CD-ROM drive. What 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 they do is um, their software out there, what what they call you know ripping software. Basically, what it does is it takes the CD and all the tracks on the CD, and it'll rip the songs off. Now it doesn't totally, it doesn't actually rip them off. What it does is it takes a copy, a next, you know, a copy of the song, and it and puts it on your hard drive. Now you can when uh. When you do this, you can do a, a number of different things, actually. And there's a number of different encoders and file types you can save it as. They're all different. To name a few, there's MP3, the most you know famously known one. There's AugBarbus, which is an uh, open source. Um, not as well known, but it's out there. There's another one called FLAC, which is a lossless um, encoder, which basically is means that it takes an exact copy, an exact copy of what's on the CD, and just copies it exactly instead of you know taking bits which which is instead of a lossy encoder well, like an mp3 for example which um, takes out bits and pieces that the human ear really doesn't hear very well or at all for, for in some cases so so it's it's basically you know it's a digital copy but it's, it has b bits and pieces missing it's not the full exact thing whereas flag is um, now you what's great about this is you can take these files you can put them on your iPod I have an iPod Touch, as I've done a video before about it, and now I'm actually right now I was listening to uh, New Found Glory, um, New Found Glory on my iPod Touch, and you can take them and you can put them onto this, you know, your your MP3 device, and you can take it anywhere, and that's what's really great about this. Now, if you're going to rip an MP3 format, there's a, there's two things you need to know. First thing is, do you want to rip in Variable variable bit rate, or do you want to rip in constant bit rate? And that's they it's VBR and CBR. The difference between the two are, are um constant bit rate is a constant bit rate. It's throughout the entire song. It's a constant bit rate of whatever you set. A variable bit rate varies throughout the song, as the, the both names imply. It varies. The bit rate varies throughout the songs depending on what's going on in the song. So, for example. You know the the music you know becomes lower, in and you're encoding in variable bit rate or it stops for a second, the bit rate will drop, whereas if it was a constant bit rate it would still be the same bit rate, even if there was no music playing, or it went or it was lower, and that that's the difference. And what ha what what happens when you have a variable bit rate is opposed to a constant bit rate, it allows you to have better quality files in smaller file sizes in some cases. Um, when I rip MP3s, I usually rip in variable bit rate as the high, at the what they call extreme quality. I'm a quality, you know, a quality freak. I, I, I if I really, really like the CD, I'll rip the, the CD in FLAC, which as I said before is a lossless um, format that allows you that basically is an exact copy of what's on the CD, nothing removed. So that's what I really like about um, these different formats. My two favorite, obviously, are MP3 and FLAC. Those are the two I use most common. If you're looking for a player to play these files, I recommend uh, 
Because um, if you use iTunes, you're not going to be able to play FLAC files. Because what happens is iTunes doesn't support them. But if, if you want, you and you want to rip in FLAC, just to try it out. You, I recommend you check out a player called FUBAR2000. I'll put a link to that in the show notes. It's FUBAR2000. It's a highly customizable player. Um, very simple, straightforward. You can customize it however you like. However, when you when you download it first, it's very very plain. You know, it's a very just just a player basically. It plays everything you throw at it for the most part, and it's really really nice. Um, that's my that's the player of choice for me. I always use Fubar 2000. Uh, I use iTunes to update my iPod. However, um, thing is, if you're going to um, rip and flack, you also have to realize that the files can tend to be pretty big. And another thing, you know, that, that comes with because you're making an exact copy of it. However, you also must realize that unless you have um, decent speakers, um, I, the, the speakers I use right now are Klipsch Pro Medias. Um, they're really, really nice for computer speakers. Um, so if you're looking for a computer speaker that's pretty high end and good quality, I recommend you check out the Klipsch Pro Media 2.1s. And if you don't have high quality speakers, you're not going to notice the difference with FLAC to MP3. Some people, even with the high quality speakers, don't notice the difference. Um, actually, well, I lie. It depends. If you see, that's where MP3 bit rates come in again. If you're ripping your bit, if you're ripping your MP3 in what they call uh, 128 kil, uh, kilobits per second, kbps is what you'll see in the player. Um, if you start, if you play that in a high end stereo system, I'm I'm talking like BMW speakers or JBL, you know, high-end type stuff, you'll notice that it sound, it's going to sound like crap. That's the thing. So, flack is good in that sense if you're playing on really high-end audio equipment. Aside from that, you know, you're just playing every day. You probably, I like to rip my MP3s, as I said, variable bit rate. If not variable bit rate, I'll go with 320 kbps, constant bit rate. But nonetheless, check out, you know, that if you're going to rip and you're into audio, even if you're not, you might as well enjoy the your your music to the fullest and rip as uh, variable bit rate and the ex at least extreme quality or best quality. And uh, you know, I'll put a link to my favorite um, audio ripper into in the show notes as well. It's called DB Power Amp Music Converter. It'll convert music and as well as rip it. It's by far the best one on the market in my opinion. It's free too. I'm pretty sure it's still free. It should be still free. Um, it's excellent. Highly recommend it. Check out DV Power Amp. Check out Fubar 2000. And I hope that helped. I mean, if you're looking to rip music, you know, I hope this really helps you making the decision of how to what to use to rip your music in the first place, and also what bit rate and what type of bit rate to choose. We'll see you next time. You're watching the best Techie.net show.